Hello, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we'll look at the ePicture element of our live content module. So let's begin by logging in as an administrator. All right, we already have live content module on the on a page, so let's go ahead and add a new element. We want to add an ePicture element. We'll browse for the picture from our own computer. I have some sample pictures here, so let's choose one of them. Notice that live content automatically uploads it for you. It shows you real-time progress using an AJAX-based control. So since we're on a local server, this was almost instantaneously. So let's go ahead and click on Add. And there we go. We have our first image right here already added. All right, let's try this again. And this time, we want to go ahead and upload multiple uh, pictures. Let's go ahead and upload all of these. And notice this time you can see they're being uploaded instantaneously. And we just click on add and there we go. We have our picture gallery almost set up. Alright, let's see what else live content a picture element can do for us. I have an agenda here so I'm going to look refer to that uh, as we go along. Uh, Live content has a feature to automatically resize your images when you upload them. So, as you can see, these are pretty large, high-resolution images, and they're not always suitable for web viewing. So, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. I'm going to go to Options, ePicture Options, Upload Resize. I'm going to say Resize Images while they're being uploaded. I'm going to upload these to 605 resize these to 600 by 480. I'll go ahead and click update I'll go back let's try this again so this time again I'll browse I'll take these four images to upload now you will notice live content has automatically resized them while they were being uploaded to 600 by 480 that's a pretty neat feature you don't have to have your users resize them before uploading them. Live content does that for you. So let's see what else we're going to look at it. Now let's say you have this image at 600 by 480 but you really want to see this particular image even at a lower resolution. So you can go to edit, go to appearance, instead of auto width or height we can force the width and height. Let's say we want this to be exactly a 400 by 400 image. We could do that. Let's go ahead and click update take a look at the image there you go now it's a square 400 by 400 image notice we're not just setting uh, the width and the height on the image tag we're actually creating a new image by cropping it from the original image so we're saving on the file size and thus saving on the bandwidth so that's a pretty neat feature and again you can go ahead and do that uh, to any of the images you like let's see what else we can do we can add watermark to our images so if you go back to options we go to ePicture choose watermark, say show watermark and where we can type in a text let's say copyrighted by mandeeps.com let's go ahead and update that so there you go now you see a watermark on the text and again like I said all these images are created on the fly they're cached for optimal performance there's no extra overhead on the disk cost or your hard drive hard disk space alright let's see moving on there's a really neat feature in live content built in. Uh, let's take a look at our sampled pictures. Let's see this picture right here called Tulips. If you notice, there's some metadata information here in Windows 7, which we can go ahead and take a look. There's no title, so let's add a title. Let's call it Tulips. Um, uh, let's change the subject here to Yellow Flowers and uh, let's give them some tags you can say it's a uh, it's yellow it's flower it's nature and it's beautiful all right let's save this information notice this metadata information i added through this windows 7 control is same thing if you go to properties look at details up here now this would be again same thing if you're working with Photoshop or Picasa Google Picasa or any other uh, image editor you can go ahead and add this metadata in let's go ahead and now add that picture back into our live content 
you will notice that live content actually picks all that information up for you so you don't have to do the work twice you click on add and now you will see that it has the title on the top it has the caption or the subject at the bottom and the tags are there in the background for all the indexing search integration and tags cloud module so that's a pretty neat feature all right let's move on let's see what else we can do we're not limited to uploading pictures from our computer now we can go ahead just as easily add pictures that are existing on our site so we just change the option to browse server and here we choose the folder with images and uh, let's choose an image click next and we click add and there is the image if you click on it pops right up now I just want to add on this is not limited to just regular folders on your dotnet nuke site you could go ahead and show a picture from a secure folder and your security is maintained intact so there's a picture in secure folder let's add that in and there you go that picture comes from our secure folder from dotnet nuke website uh, let's just complete this demo by adding one from a database folder you can see this is a database folder and we have an image in there let's go ahead and add that in and there we go we have an image from the database folder alright let's move on well we've not left anything uh, in left content and we give you all the flexibility you need so if you want to add an image from an internet URL you can do that as well here I've searched for Eiffel Tower in Google and I have a bunch of images so I'll like this one in particular and I can just right click on it and say give me the image URL all I have to do is just paste that in here let's go ahead next and add and there it is it's our Eiffel Tower image right there live content is also integrated with Amazon S3 to enable Amazon S3 you will get this feature but to en en enable Amazon S3 you would have to go to options Amazon S3 integration just type in your ID and your secret key which is your password and hit update that's it once you do that you will see this new option called Amazon S3 when you're adding any element source so we'll click on this one and this right here shows us our buckets which are on Amazon S3 and here we have options to choose the pictures. So I'll just take one of the pictures and hit next. So I'll click add. And there you go. That's our picture coming from Amazon S3. So as you can see, live content is very tightly integrated with all web technologies. And uh, that's about it. Well, let's hold on. We have one more to cover, slideshow. So we have a nice live uh, picture gallery here using live content e-picture element. And it's coming from all different sources, pictures from our own computer, the ones from internet, the ones from Amazon S3, from existing on the website. Now, you can navigate between this picture by just using your keyboard right and left keys, which is great, or just clicking on any one picture. Now, you're not limited to just one picture being open. You can actually have multiple pictures open at the same time. But there is a built-in slideshow option as well. So just go to Options the slideshow to say enable slideshow and we want it to automatically re, uh, transition between images every five seconds so let's go ahead and update that come back here and there you go now we have these nice controls we can go right and left we can drag the image down or close it we can also just hit play and watch it play our slideshow it will change the image every five seconds automatically all right it's a pretty nice feature of live content. While we're here, I'm going to cover some really quick features uh, of the properties of the elements itself. Now, we have a sparrow here. So we can give it a title. We can give it a caption. We can add ta tags to it. and so on. Now we have some really nice appearance feature too. We can use light box effect and let's see what does that do. It will darken the background so your full attention is not an element that's just launched. 
we have more options as to where should the image anchor when it's expanded, where should it appear automatically relative to the thumbnail, screen center screen on an absolute XY coordinate, or a relevant XY coordinate based on the existing object on the page. So we can say appear on the center screen. We can always still say appear on mouse over instead of on click. So now if I take my mouse over that element, it will automatically appear in center screen. Pretty neat. Alright, that will be it for this demo. Make sure to check out other videos to see what live content, live content can do and its power and functions and features. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions or concerns, please do contact us. Thank you.